Hi everyone, I'm Kerry. Welcome to the continuation of the Train an Animal series. I'll be showing you how to crochet the last of the animals today, this giraffe. You'll need a small amount of two contrasting colours of cotton or wool. I'll be using pale yellow and brown four ply crochet cotton. You'll also need a crochet hook, sewing or darning needle and scissors. I'll be using black thread to sew the eyes and mouth on, but you could use fabric paint if you prefer. OK, we'll get started. I'm going to start with this section here with my brown cotton and I'm going to make a magic loop. So I'm going to start as if I'm going to do a chain and pull the loop through and instead of tightening it I'm going to loosen it a bit. So I've got a circle. And then I do three chain and two double crochet in the chain. A double crochet is yarn round the hook, in through the circle and pull up another loop, yarn round through two, yarn round through two. I'm going to do two double crochet and then I'm going to do three treble. The treble is twice round the hook, in through the circle and pull up a loop, yarn around through two, yarn around through two and yarn around through two. So two more of those. Now I'm going to do six double crochet into my circle Three more treble. And three double crochet. And then I get hold of my tail and pull it as tight as I can. And then slip stitch into the third chain. For the second row I'm going to do one chain and single crochet in the same spot. The single crochet is in through the stitch, bring up a loop, yarn round and through the two. And then I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch. Into the following stitch I'm going to single crochet and one half double crochet. A half double crochet is yarn round, in through the stitch, bring up a loop and yarn round and through all three going to do one more half double crochet in the following stitch and then two half double crochet into this next stitch. A half double crochet into the next stitch and then one half double crochet and single crochet in the following stitch. Now four single crochet, one in each stitch. And then a single crochet and a half double crochet in the following stitch. Then 
then one half double crochet in the next stitch and two half double crochet in the following then in the next stitch we'll work one half double crochet and then we'll work one half double crochet and a single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet to the end and slip stitch in your first the chain at the beginning and then you've got an oval and that's that part finished just see if I can get this a bit tighter that's that bit done. Now I'm going to work the horns while I've got the brown. So I'm going to leave a bit of a tail to attach it to the head and I'll work seven chain. And I'm going to work a single crochet in the third chain from the, the hook. And now I'm going to slip stitch in each of the other stitches. So you've just got a little horn there and you'd make two of those. Fasten that one off. We also will make these little spots from our brown. So for those um, it's just really random spot, small spots. So I'll start with a magic loop. I'll probably do three with just one chain and six single crochet into the circle. And pull them tight. and slip stitch into the first chain. And I'll probably need a slightly bigger spot for there and maybe there. So I'll do a magic circle and one chain, a single crochet and then perhaps a half double crochet, two single crochet, a half double crochet, a single crochet and then pull it tight and slip stitch. So that's just a slightly bigger bigger spot. You could do a bit bigger one as well. You could go up to a double crochet if you'd prefer. Okay. 
Now for this section here, I'm going to attach the pale, pale yellow cotton between the single crochet and the half double crochet, just in here. I'm going to do one chain and work one single crochet in the next seven stitches. And then I'll work three chain and turn. Next I'm going to work a joined double crochet over the next two stitches. For a joined double crochet you put your yarn round, pick up a loop in the stitch, yarn round through two and then our yarn round again and then we're going to go into the following stitch and pick up a, another loop, yarn round through two and yarn round and go through all our the three stitch the three loops left. Now we're going to double crochet now in each stitch to the last two. Now we'll do another joined double crochet over these last two stitches. Then we'll turn and work three chain. Now we're going to work a joined double crochet over three stitches twice. So similar to last time. So we've done a joined double crochet over three yarn round and through. Now for the next one we'll go back into the same stitch and pick up a loop and then also the following two stitches. So it's like two clusters over the five stitches and that's what the top of our head will look like. So I'll end that one off Now for our ears, we're going to start just at the bottom of our final row, so in here, just in there, we'll join in there. We're going to do four chain and then we're going to work a three treble cluster into the same stitch. So for a three treble cluster we put our yarn round twice, pick up a loop in the same stitch. Yarn around through two, yarn around through two and we've got two stitches left. So we put our yarn around twice, pick up a loop, yarn around through two, yarn around through two, and now we've got three stitches left. Then we put our yarn around twice again and pick up another loop, yarn around through two, yarn around through two again, and then we put our yarn around and go through all our stitches. So that's how we are. And we'll do the same on the other side. So just join the bottom of the final row. Then 
or try. A three treble cluster. And there's our ears. Now we'll do the neck of the giraffe. Now it doesn't matter which side we, we start, we start just either side of the centre. So if you want your giraffe facing that side, that way, we'd start about there and if we want it facing this side, we'd start just near the join. So we attach our yarn. And work two chain and then we're going to work one half double crochet into the next three stitches and then for each row we're going to do two chain and one half double crochet into each stitch and we can make our neck as long as we like Just do two more rows. I like to finish with my work the right side up. I'll just finish off my endings and crochet another horn and some more spots and I'll be back and show you how to put it together. Now I've got all my pieces here. I'm going to start with stitching the first horn just a couple of stitches away from the ear. Just going to attach it in, in like that. And the other horn I'll, I'll attach the same. 
for the circles I'll have this small circle just in there I'll touch it I just use sewing thread to attach things to my crochet. I find that easier. I find it very difficult to use the, co the thick cotton. But you use whatever ever you find best for you. I'll attach my other horn just in there and I'll attach this one over the top. And the three other dots just down there like that. So I'll do that and I'll, I'll be back. Now that's my horns and spots on so now I've just got to do a mouth and some eyes so I'll do those for the eyes I'll just do a French knot I do have my patterns on my website. The details of my website are down in the description below along with my Pinterest and Instagram details. the eyes. You could probably use beads for the eyes if you prefer and then I'll just do a, do a mouth. Just run a mouth. Probably about halfway along this this line here. Sorry about my awkward sewing.
Any of these details you could probably just use fabric paint if you'd prefer. There. That's the mouth done. Just end it off. Next time I'll be showing you how to do this caboose. It will be the last of the series and then I'll just show you how to put it all together. I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you have, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.